Hey, hello hackers! Oh, welcome to Hacker Associate and get ready for a new episode on hardware hacking. Today, I'm going to focus on this Arduino uh, Nano, and this is basically regarding JTAG, right? So, uh, most of the people ask me this question: JTAG letter is deprecated. So, in that case, okay, like if we want to identify the pins regarding any PCB uh, for a JTAG debugging, then how we can do that? Okay, so there are a lot of cluster of pins. we always see okay on pcb and it's very difficult to identify jtag pin so i thought okay i'll make a video on this this is the first part okay which i'm going to record on this device arduino nano so there are many ways okay you can identify jtag pins okay but in this section i'm going to focus okay with the help of arduino nano how, how you are going to use arduino nano and how you can flash the program called jtag enum so we are going to use a jtag enum program and with the help of jtag enum you will be able okay to identify the jtag pin so when you see the arduino nano this area this side right you will see the pins there okay like d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 ground so you can simply use some kind of jumper wires okay like this okay this is the jumper wire you can use it you connect it here and connect to the target board and you are done but before this let's see how we can flash a jtag enum program in this and with the help of this okay like how we can identify the pin right this is the part 1 in the part 1 i'm going to focus on how to flash this arduino nano for a jtag enum scripts so in this case first i'm going to connect okay using cable so once you can connect it like this and now i'm going to connect okay to my system so when you once you connect it okay you will see uh, this thing right so when you simply go to the terminal and you can simply just type okay like ls i think i need to zoom it this is ls then we have slash dev uh, tty dot usb and you can see this is my serial okay first of all first you identify okay your device after that okay you can use a serial software okay which i am using for mac system and it will tell you about okay this is basically our device okay a device uh, basically usb 2.0 1130 so in order to work with this first okay we need to understand about okay arduino uh, ide so we need a arduino ide you can uh, simply download okay this ide from internet is very easy once you download it right uh, what you can do is if you want to practice okay like this your nano device is working or not you can simply go to this examples and you can simply create a you know some kind of blink project you can see this is the blink project you can simply click on the blink and you can select your board in my case this is basically arduino uh, nano this is here when you simple verify this particular part and this is basically the option for burning okay and if it is blinking continuously okay uh, this particular board it means like the nano device is working properly right now i'm going to close it and we will be uh, going to stick to our topic so i'm selecting my device you can see this is arduino nano that exactly we need first in case of any difficulty you can simply go to the tool area you can simply select arduino nano and here we have a board manager there is arduino avr board select arduino nano there is arduino mega avr board we don't need to set anything select your port in my case is 11300 i only mention how to identify this information and then we need to go to the processor and this is very important step okay you need to select this old boot loader if you are selecting this for this you know this program simply fail and not able to you know flash it okay like to this particular device so make sure okay like you select this old bootloader and then okay once you are done with this you simply click on this verify and you can clearly see that it is compiling and there no error here once you click here this button and you can see it is flashing still there is no error and i can see some disturbance here okay you can see clearly right here right you can see and you can see is done uploading still there is no error and let's go further and now once you're done with this particular part what you can do is you can simple plug out uh, your device okay and now again going to plug in so let's plug in and now if you go to the serial over here example let's say screen slash dev uh, tty dot usb serial 115200 this is the board read once you press enter and you can see uh, i'm not able to identify tty so let's go and check okay further so go to the serial and select this open it up a device is not connected let me again one more time connect here 
okay it is disconnected i'm not sure what is happening let me again recheck the program so after flashing okay as i mentioned you can plug out and plug in okay your device and okay you can simple use okay your serial uh, command and i'm going to use serial like this and simple just click here one more time serial and once you click on serial okay you select your device connect it and you can see clearly it is working the program is working now in order to work with this you simple type edge command so i'm going to send edge signal so you can see the edge is not coming right so just close it here further and i'm going to close the terminal and then again open a terminal and do some kind of troubleshooting so screen uh, slash dev usb dot tty or we can say tty dot usb serial 115200 and then press edge and you can see clearly the program is working successfully so now okay like i can you know connect this particular Arduino Nano to this particular board and then going to look for JTAG pins. So instead for new episode, I'm going to record further and you can also check okay my YouTube showed okay for how to extract uh, basically firmware okay over JTAG. Check the video okay is already available okay on uh, YouTube. Please check it out. Have a great day. See you in the next video.